Warning. So living in gratitude, I am so grateful who ever thought to have all the songs in Lord's Prayer printed in, in the computer in Word so that we could just print them out um, to this morning uh, because it's been interesting. So whoever did that, thank you, universe. Probably Carol. So thank you. Um, somebody who doesn't depend on technology, because I do, and this morning it's been playing games all morning. Um, so I am very grateful to whoever, Carol, uh, for doing that, because it made it a lot easier and a lot less stressful in the moment. And thanks to Colette for thinking of, oh, surely we have the words on the computer somewhere printed. Oh, yeah, okay. So we did. So that's why gratitude's important. In Theologians 1, and I'm going to paraphrase this because I had it specifically on my notes, which I don't have because they're still on my computer that's still trying to update at home. Okay? Um, so in Theologians, it tells us that we are here We are here to rejoice and give praise in the Christ Jesus name. And so when I read that, I'm thinking, okay, it says Christ Jesus. Now, what does that mean to me? So I'm here to give, to rejoice and give gratitude in Christ Jesus name. Hmm. Well, I know that Christ Jesus is the spiritual man. So to give, rejoice and give praise to me and my spiritualness and also to be grateful for my spiritual being. A lot of times we live in the human world and we're not, really aware of that spiritual being that is alive within us, that's guiding us. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I think I take it for granted. And I didn't realize that until I really read that verse. And it was an awakening moment for me to know that there's a spiritual being that is always rejoicing and always in gratitude for me, for the human side of me. And that was, that was just a real eye-opener this morning, um, especially with everything that went on, you know, all the chaos. I went to make a note, you know, because I do my talk and I, you know, gather notes, and I went this morning to make a note of something that I wanted to say. And my computer was backing up. It was updating. It's a new computer. Well, I waited 45 minutes, and it was only 23% updated, right? And I'm like, okay, this is not going to work. So I go get my old computer, and, oh, I didn't save it in Dropbox. Wow, okay. Um, What was it I was going to say this morning? Um, Thank you for spirit. Because Spirit was able to organize my thoughts back down into some points. And I went to my old computer and got it and and made my notes. But it's amazing how we I take for granted that spiritual being that is alive in me. And that is actually the one guiding me in all that I do. And trusting in that. Trusting in that, that being. I realize I trust my ego self sometimes more. And I didn't realize that. You know, I I tend to live in the flow. And then that flow is the spirit. And so to realize how much I actually am a human depending on the technology, depending on um, 
other people in relationships is pretty amazing. And so that spiritual being of that mind consciousness really brought forth to me the gratitude for everybody here that helped this morning and just for the laughter. I tend to be very serious. Um, It's my nature. That's my humanness. I'm a very serious analytical person and everything, all the I's have to be dotted, all the T's have to be crossed, and it all needs to be done just right. Well, guess what? It's not going to (laughs) happen. And to be able to laugh at that and to know that, it's okay. It got done anyways. The universe tends to show me sometimes that, hmm, okay, we're going to do this in a different way today. And, and I appreciate that because it makes me realize just how important spirit is and how important it is for us to let go and just to live in that place of gratitude knowing that everything is going to be fine if we live in that divine order, that state of consciousness, of perfection. Because what gratitude does, it draws good to us. It's a magnet. So the more grateful we are, The more gratitude we show for others, the more good comes to and through us. So it's part of the law of circulation. And I really didn't connect those dots until this week when I was looking up, well, what's the metaphysics of gratitude? And it was like, it's the magnet. It's what draws to us that spiritual abundance I had not connected those dots. It's part of the abundance that we live in all the time with that law of circulation, that giving and receiving. Some people call it the law of compensation. So when we give out that love and that gratitude to other beings or we give it to ourselves, we are giving out love and receiving that back into us. We're giving out gratitude and receiving that gratitude back in. And that's pretty amazing. And I also looked up the metaphysics of Thanksgiving, thinking they were pretty much one and the same. And... Metaphysically, thanksgiving is the act of praise. So it is similar to gratitude, and yet it's really about the prayer of praise and allowing ourselves to be thankful, to send that thankfulness as a prayer and to the world. So sending the prayer to all the veterans who in the past have served and who today are serving to keep us free, living in that freedom, sending out and rejoicing, that is thanksgiving. It's the rejoicing and the praise. So it's the act of joyfully sending it outward. And then the gratitude is also getting it back in. So what's the benefits? You know, I'm kind of a scientist, and I always want to know, well, what's the benefits of gratitude? When we practice gratitude, we have better relationships. 
our interconnectedness is smoother, is more loving. And we relate to each other in a oneness that without gratitude we wouldn't have. Because it puts us on that same wavelength. Because that that energy is reciprocal. And it's circulating. And so when we're speaking with someone and we're sending them that gratitude, they're getting it and sending it back to us without consciously being aware of it at times. It promotes good health. Now, why would that be? How can gratitude promote good health? What I found is that when we're grateful, we're more joyful. We're living in a positive state of consciousness. And all of that affects our well-being, our health. Because when we're living in that good and we're seeing it as that space of good, that allows us in our being to only have the positive consciousness within us, allowing us to radiate that positively positively outward, but yet inward, so that every cell picks up that positive radiance. We tend to have more energy when we're grateful because of the vibrational rate of gratitude, the vibrational rate of the circulation of giving and receiving that lifts us up. It brings us more joy. It gives us that um, generosity feeling, right? We tend to be less judgmental because we're living in a state of good. We're living in that state of positive environmental love. We're living in that oneness. And when we're in that space of oneness, we're, we do not judge We allow people to be who they are. And even if they're in that situation of negativity, we allow that. We don't have to take it in. We bless them. And as we bless them, it shifts their energy. How many of you have ever been in a situation, a heated argument, or a negative situation, and when you consciously became aware of it and shifted and started sending blessings or sending love to the other person or just in general to the area, how many of you have encountered that? And what generally happens? Agreement. Right. So... It works if we use it because we become the vessel that controls what's going on around us. We become that catalyst for change. And we do it all the time, and sometimes we're just not aware of what it is that we're doing. And when we wake up, and actually understand the principles of gratitude, of love, of oneness, then we know that we are the vehicle to change our life. Now, we can't go around changing everybody else's life. We may be able to assist others in shifting their consciousness, but what we can do is we can shift our own. 
And one of the easiest ways to shift our consciousness is through living in gratitude. Goes with everything else today. Gratitude. All right. So we did a little bit of practice this morning in gratitude, but I want to just take a moment and ask everybody to close your eyes. I want you to practice an experience. I want you to go to your heart. So if you need to go to... In order to go to your heart, sometimes we need to put our hand on our heart. So I invite you just to put your hand on your heart. Take a deep breath in. And then I want you to bring to mind a relationship or a situation that you're struggling with at the moment. And now I want you to just take and breathe into your heart and send outward love to that person or situation. And I want you to be thankful for that person. I want you to be thankful for that situation. Because we know Through that, our good is coming, is already with us. We give thanks right here, right now, for this opportunity to grow through with ease and grace whatever the circumstances is. And we see it resolved peacefully, lovingly, right here, right now. And so it is. It's called Be Thankful. Be thankful that you don't already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. Be thankful for your limitations. Because they give you opportunities for improvement. Because it will build your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary. Because it means you've made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles, and they can become your blessings. So what is it you're thankful for today? We celebrate today all the veterans. We're thankful for those that have served and continue to serve. We're thankful for each other, for the spiritual community, for Reverend Carol and all that she did to create this beautiful place. We're thankful for life. 
through what we've learned and what we have yet to learn. I'm thankful for the reality of the oneness that exists between all beings. Knowing that in that space, there is no doubt. There is no pain. There is only love. And as we, in our human selves, take to mind that Christ Jesus, that spiritual being, and live in divine order as love, life is fulfilled with gratitude, In spirit intertwined. I love you, I bless you, and I behold the living Christ in you. Namaste.